Hi, welcome to the Game Splanner. I'm Jeff the Game Splanner, and today I'm Game Splanning Trade on the Tigress. Trade on the Tigress is a game that plays from three to six players. It does not play at two, but it plays up to six. Now, what that says to me immediately is that it's a slightly lighter fair game because majority of games that play up to the six will move through fairly quickly and tend to fill a table and be going. The issue I found with this game is it's not as light as that label makes it feel. I have really struggled to get this guy to the table. I've only played this twice, uh, once as a smaller play account and once with a full play account, and I really enjoyed it. Like, don't get me wrong, I really like this game. I think it's an awesome game, but I fear that the six player play account says this is a lighter game than it actually is. But then, when you're looking at the rules, it reads kind of, ah, oh, ah, oh, yeah, I can't get around it, yeah, okay, 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 I see what's going on. But then actually playing it, it plays really simply, it plays really easily, really straightforward. S so simple, so, it's such a, a simple concept, and, and the ideas of what's going on with the trading is so, almost organic is probably the best word for it. Because the, a large part of the game, you're literally trading with the people at the table. There's no rules on it, rather than a time limit. So you set your timer for, I think it's five minutes or something to that effect, and everyone can just go. And say, okay, I'm looking for two uh, perfume of two whatever it is. I don't even remember what's in the game. I do apologize about that. But the you, you can look for whatever you want and trade whatever you like anything that you have in your hand is fair game for a trade anything you have on your board is fair game for a trade and all you're trying to do is make up points so if i've got three of a certain product to that i can then sell then i'll get a certain num a number of points for selling that if i have four then i'll get a whole bunch more points and so getting collections of the same type of thing so that you can sell all of them at the same time is a really worthwhile thing to do. Within the game, there's a whole bunch of different steps that, that you'll uh, approach and they're color coded. So uh, stuff that's got a red thing on the bottom will only happen when that section of the game actually comes up. So you know straight away when to do things. And there's, uh, it plays so simply. I think this is one of the most elegant designs that I have come across out of any slightly heavier game. Not, I'm not saying this is a heavy, heavy game, but it's definitely not a light game. It's definitely not one of those games that needs to be um, played with people who are just getting into playing games. In fact, I probably wouldn't play it so much with them because there are a few things to really watch out for. But if you've got a gathering of people, up to six people, who love playing games and have been playing games and, and are comfortable with a lot of these games behind me, this is a really good game to play. What I find the problem with it is, is this plays to six, so our immediately instinct immediately kicks in and says, oh, that's going to be a lighter game. Uh, yeah, I guess we can play that. Or if you've got six to tell you, you need to be playing the lighter game so you don't pull this one out. I, I find that a big a crunch of course I've been wanting so badly to have a heavier game at six once again not saying this is a heavy game but just the the understanding that needs to go into the rule set you can't you look you pull it out you look at it, you start reading through it and it's understandable and and each of the things is totally understandable and totally works really really well and I maybe it's that I'm looking at the box and thinking this is a heavy game and it's not a heavy game I mean, according to Board Game Geek, this is weighted at 3 out of 5. So, you know, I I don't put a lot of weight in the weighting scheme, but it it's kind of gives you an idea. Um, I tend to look at it and go, okay, a 4 and above is a heavy game. I tend to find the Little Beatles games a heavy game. I tend to look at a 2 or a, around the 2s as kind of a lighter game. So, you know, it's medium to heavy-ish, kind of in the middle on the slightly heavier side of in the middle, but that's just the people who happen to say, oh, I think it's this. Uh, it's just putting a number to a thought process, really. Um, I find that the box tells me it's a type of game. Once setting it up, that box is mostly full of cards. There's very little other stuff in there. There's a little bit of other stuff, but there's very little of that other stuff in there. So it's mostly decks of cards that you're dealing with. And I, I don't know, there's something about this game that just doesn't feel 
like what it's trying to say it is, but it's also actually a really, really good game. And once again, I think I may have said this with the um, Between Two Castles of Mad King Ludwig, that I think that this one will actually make my top 10 list for the year. Uh, it's very rare for me to find them so quickly, but I feel like it probably will. It's I really like this game. I've really enjoyed my games of it. I, I want to get it to the table so desperately. I want to get it back to the table so that if other people can get a feel for how crunchy it actually is and and all the thought process and all the patterns that go on inside it anyway i've spoken spoken long enough about this game if you uh want to get a feel for the game and see what it actually plays like uh please go ahead and watch my games plan and games for nations if you have any games that you'd like to be games playing please shoot me an email at the games at gmail.com Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at The Games Plan to keep up to date with the games I'm playing. Subscribe to my videos to keep up to date with the games I'm games planning. And until next time, enjoy gaming.